Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we'll look at how we can transfer or how we can copy files between a Ubuntu Linux machine and a Windows PC. Now, um, I'm logged into my Ubuntu machine right here. What we'll be doing is we'll be using a, an application called FileZilla. So the app is what we'll uh, use to do the transfer. It's gonna act as a client on my Windows PC and the Ubuntu machine is gonna act like a server. Let's go ahead and download the FileZilla. So we need to go to filezilla-project.org and then we need to download the client. Like I said, we, we need the client. We don't need the server. So click on that and then click on that. Once you get this pop-up window shows us four options. The last two right here, FileZilla Pro, these are paid versions. If you click on this, you'll see that it shows you the price. So we don't want this. We need the free version. And what we're looking for is the SFTP, which is going to ensure that we transfer the file securely. We don't want to use the standard FTP because this one is not secure. So we'll click on the download. And it should be a quick download. It's already done. I can close this window. And uh, let me check my downloads folder. Here is the file. Now to install it, just double click on it. And then I'm just gonna say yes to allow the app to run. And I'm gonna click I'm gonna click agree here. Let me minimize this. Here I'm gonna accept. Click next. And I'm gonna click next 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 and then i'm gonna accept the destination folder i'm gonna click next install so it should be a quick install and it's done click on finish and let me open filezilla this is it right here now as you can see at the top we'll need the host information that's the ip address if you hover your mouse over that box, it tells you what information you need to input. So it says, enter the address of the server, which is gonna be the IP for Ubuntu. There's other information you can put in here. You can read through that. And then you need the username that you use on Ubuntu. You need a password and then the port. So the default port for FTP is 21. We'll be using SFTP, which uses port 22 so yeah i can put 22 and let's go to the ubuntu machine to get the ip address I'll open the terminal and to get the ip address i can just type in ip address command so ip address the ip address is 172.16.1.104 now you may want to verify that you can actually reach this so from the windows pc i can open powershell and let me check my IP here, IP config. I'm using 172.16.1.11. So let me make it clear here. And let's see if we can ping the IP, this one here for Ubuntu. Let's do ping 172.16.1.104. And sure enough, we are able to ping it. That means it's reachable. So these two devices are on the same local network or on the same subnet. Now uh, that we verify it, we can reach it. Let's finish the information on the client. So this is the FileZilla client here. I'm gonna put the IP that we saw, 172.16.1.104. Username is gonna be Using Eno, um, I'll put in the password here. And now I can click on Quick Connect. And I'm getting a pop up window, unknown, unknown host key. So it's asking if I trust this host. I'm going to say yes, always trust this host. I'll click OK. And I got an Access denied, authentication failed, critical error, could not connect to server. So for some reason, the password I put in 
uh, the username is not is not correct. I'll check here. View. So I'm logged in as user Eno. I'm gonna try. I'll try again. So the user is correct. Eno. And make sure I'm putting in the correct password here. I'll put the port 22. And I'm able to connect. It looks like I might have uh, fat fingered the password there. And now, once we connect, you can see that we have the directories or the folders on my local Windows PC. And now I have also the directories on that server, which is the Ubuntu machine. Now, for instance, if I want to if I click on the user email and then and go to desktop right here, you can see I'm seeing the directories and files, which are right here. I have these two, my test folder and my test files. And I'm also seeing the files on my desktop on the Windows PC. So I'm seeing these files also. Now, when it comes to doing the transfer, all you have to do is you select a file and then you move it to the other device. So if you're coming from, if you're moving a file from uh, Ubuntu, just select the file, drag and drop it to the folder you want on your Windows PC, and the file has been transferred. They might uh, test files Z. Now, if I go here, you see that I transferred the file showing for today's date. And I can also move a file from Windows PC to Ubuntu. So I'll go the other way. So I can grab this file. I can move it here. Right here is the file that I transferred from my Windows PC to Ubuntu. So with this method, you can just easily move files between the two. All you have to do is drag and drop and you get your files that way. So that's pretty much it. That's how you can copy files between a Windows device and an Ubuntu Linux device. Or oh, that's how you can transfer the files. And the tool we're using here is the FileZilla client. Windows PC is acting as a client, and then Ubuntu Linux is acting as a server. All you have to do is you have to make sure that SSH is running on Ubuntu. Uh, I can show that real quick. If you run into an error message, you might also want to check, make sure that SSH is running, and to do that, just do systemptl status SSH. You want to make sure that it's active and running. If it's not, you need to do systemctl system ctl start SSH, and that should start SSH for you. So that's all for this video. I hope this information has been helpful. I'll catch you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.